Sorry if the competitors actually had to wait, but they also made me wait, okay? So let's see how this goes. I actually thought that L was going to be playing Captain Falca, but appears that's not the case. We have uh, Puff versus Luigi, um, which I actually, I think this matchup's pretty interesting. Luigi's a character that you, like, maybe could assume can kind of air-to-air -air Jigglypuff, because um, that's kind of where the strength of Luigi lies, right? Is sort of within his aerials. His ground moves are, like, not great. He has forward tilt, which is pretty good. Um, but in general, Puff is never really going to be attacking from that horizontal angle unless it's with, like, a short hop auto cancel back air. Um, so unless you have a timing read on the back air, um, there's no real effective way. Whoa, that was actually dope. He, like, dragged the Luigi out to the right. Um... Okay, yeah, not a great recovery. The thing is, recovering on Battlefield can be really tricky. Um, I actually think one thing that Luigi Mains could actually do quite a bit better um, is set up for side B edge cancels. Um, because the thing is, if you set up for a side B edge cancel, which is not as difficult as you might seem, uh, I think that you can actually get a true 50-50 with side B edge cancel and side being into the, the wall of like the ledge. Um, and we've got jabs here. Down smash, not quite going to kill yet. Um, funnily enough, there actually used to be a Luigi from Michigan that was actually able to take out Prince of Boo, I think, once or twice. Um, I, I think that using Jump Fireball, which obviously isn't very good in most matchups when you're playing against really fast-moving characters, I think Jump Fireball can actually be something you can do to cut off some avenues that uh, Jigglypuff would otherwise be able to sort of just contest really easily. Um, saw a full hop fireball right there. I'm more talking short hop fireballs. Um, one nice thing that we're seeing right now um, is that Charlie Hustle, or L, does actually have two Saint at a percent where uh, Jigglypuff can't just crouch cancel everything anymore. Um, at low percent, I'm sure some of you guys have seen like the gifts and everything of uh, Jigglypuff just crouch canceling all of Sheik's ground attacks and then resting out of it. Um, Jigglypuff can actually do the same thing to Luigi. Um, and since a lot of times in order to actually hit Jigglypuff, you have to be wave dashing into them, uh, it causes that to happen pretty frequently. But uh, it looks like... Two Saint is down to hold the lead here. <laughs> and Charlie Hustle's trying some grounded fireballs. That seems like a like an ultimate tactic. I remember when I um I was playing a little bit of ultimate when I um was playing in Thunder Smash and I was practicing for it, and I was playing as Wolf. And uh I was playing as Wolf and they told me to laser, and I was like, oh, like short hop laser? And they're like, no, just like shoot the laser on the ground. And I was like, uh <laughs> okay. Um, and so maybe, maybe Charlie Hustle, uh, a wolf player from Ultimate. You never know, um, because it really reminded me of the days. Oh, Two Saints going for some BM or something. Rest him! Oh, nice. Drill up smash. Good stuff. So a four stock. Um, honestly, with the way the match started, I did not predict a four stock, but I do think that once Two Saint got a lead, he was pretty comfortable holding onto that lead, and, um... I think um, I think that something that uh, Curve does really well and a few of the other Luigi's is actually utilize platforms really quickly um, to sort of change up how Jigglypuff has to react to you um, with the ver like the verticality. So I'm hoping we don't see a, an FD pick here. I want to see a, a Yoshi's or or maybe even a Back to Battlefield is like, okay, Fountain seems good. I just wanted a stage with some platforms where, where Charlie Hustle here is actually going to be able to move around. Um, also, I realized I put in this tag as Charlie Hustle, and it might be L, but, you know, this is the life we live. Wanted to switch to Falcon? Yeah, I don't know. Um, apparently, my stream runner thought that it was going to be Falcon somehow, but it ended up being a Luigi, so. Um, yo, Chappie, it's all good, my friend. All good. But two Saint looking strong. This is what you like to see. The L on Luigi's hat. Oh my goodness. Whoa, we actually see a fox switch. Okay, interesting. See a red fox switch. Um, and FD. So I said I didn't want to see an FD counterpick. Um, but 
you know, I'll uh, I'll I'll be okay with it if it's Fox. Um, I I think this is kind of odd. I don't know. I, maybe you guys feel a certain way about it, but I don't feel like FD is actually the strongest counter pick that Fox has. Maybe because it seems like Mango was the one that used to counter pick uh, FD against Hungrybox all the time. Uh, and that was really effective, but I feel like Pokemon Stadium is just like a better FD. Um, but regardless, let's see, Nair forward smash. Uh, Nair is another one of Jigglypuff's moves that is pretty notorious for auto-canceling and Puff actually being able to move quickly out of it. Something that's actually, uh, interesting about Jigglypuff is, uh, her frame data is generally bad. Like, back air takes nine frames to come out, um, and has quite a bit of landing lag, something like ten frames of landing lag. Um, but with Nair, it comes out decently fast and also auto-cancels. So, um, if it auto-cancels, that means they only have four frames of landing lag. So Puff can actually be sort of, like, deceptively quick. Um, in spacings where you might otherwise think she's not going to be able to be. Like, right there, she just landed and was able to shield. I don't even think that was an auto-cancel. Um, alright, let's see. Full hop Nair, messes up an up smash. Yeah. Nice by two Saint. This is sort of that concept I was talking about earlier with Ben, where, you know... Top players have good punish games, and if you don't have solid execution, you're going to be handing them a lot of opportunities to punish. Um, let's see this here. Nice spacing from Two Saint. Again, that full hop Nair fade back. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Oh, my goodness. I didn't think that was going to hit. Nice drop down bear from Two Saint. Um, and we could be looking at an eight stock. Oh, no. Drop down fair. Fair again. Dang. GG's, good stuff to Two Saint. Um, again, both of the top seeds that we've been able to see thus far have looked really strong, um, and that is a good sign if you're if you're a fan of any of those players. Um, GG's, GG's, nice try, most definitely. Um